It started with thousands of people on the streets. It has resulted in millions of people on the move. Syria's civil conflict, two years old and counting, has generated the world's gravest refugee crisis for 20 years. The numbers tell part of the story. Since the war started, UNHCR has identified an estimated 2 million people who now need protection and assistance as a result of the violence in Syria. Almost half a million are currently in Jordan, 600,000 are in Lebanon, 400,000 are in Turkey, and roughly a quarter of a million are in Iraq and Egypt. The Zaatari camp, which opened a year ago with room for 60,000 people, now has 144,279 living in it. It costs half a million dollars a day to run, and every day relies on 350 tankers trucking in water and another 300 removing sewage. From nowhere, it is suddenly Jordan's fourth largest city. UNHCR estimate that by the end of 2013, the number of Syrian refugees in Lebanon will reach one million, making up 20% of the country's current population. In Turkey, a projected 300,000 refugees will be living in camps by the end of 2013. This will almost certainly destabilize the border region. But staggering though these numbers are, they represent only half the story. The vast majority of displaced Syrians do not live in camps, but in towns, villages and cities, sheltered by relatives or friends. Many fleeing the violence haven't even made it across the border. They are part of an internally displaced population, estimated at 4.25 million. Their existence is even more precarious. What follows is a unique glimpse into the lives that have been devastated by the violence. Children trying to learn in desert tents, destitute mothers giving birth to the next generation, widows and orphans. Boredom, fear, anxiety, depression, and death, but also great human resilience and fortitude. This is just the end of the beginning. The expectation is for things to get worse before they get better.